Yo, so the opinions and views expressed in this podcast are that of our own and the future Bachelor podcast only and not affiliated with any outside party or entity or anything like that. This fun podcast, though, may include some adult language. Future Bachelor Podcast. It's that point of the show. You know what time it is. It's that time to talk about Bachelor stuff on our show. <laughs> yes. And before we get into uh, this week's fun bachelor talk, um, YouTube, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we drop new bachelor content just like this. And if you just did, huge shout out to you. Ooh, <laughs> air horns for you. And uh, forget the air horns. Yes. Um, all right. Well, without further ado, why don't we go ahead and introduce our guest this week. Kelly Johns, welcome back. <laughs> And it's not just Kelly Johns. We got her husband, Brian, on the show. We got to give him some air horns. A married couple. Wow. Blew up. You know, we've had Kelly Johns on the show about twice now. This will be her third time, I think. And um, and this is Brian's first podcast ever. So, yep, first one ever. Yeah. How, so did she, how did she convince you, man? <laughs> uh, honestly, uh, it just worked out really well when I met you uh, this past weekend. Yeah. So we're gonna get into that. Yeah, so, dude, just, so. I love it. I love it. Um, well, let's just get let's just get into it. Usually, you know, in this segment, we talk about the show, but the show is not on right now. So um, recently, there's been a lot of like Bachelor, you know, Nation news coming out. So we kind of talk about that. But this week is very special because um, I went to go see Bachelor live on stage, and not that I only go, but Kelly Johns went, and her husband Brian went. But even on on top of that kelly johns was on stage she she went she through the whole on stage she, yeah. she was live she was live on, on stage, stage. <laughs> that was yeah. crazy with the bachelor so it was it's pretty cool um you know it, it was it was I was my first time going to the Fox Theater and I wanted to be there early because, you know, I was picking up tickets. I wanted to make sure like I was getting in there and we had a winner from the show there. So I just wanted to make sure everything was good. But showing up early was nice because also Kelly showed up early as well. So we were like the first two people there, even before people <laughs> that work there. So um, it was awesome being able to run into you, Kelly. Um, and when when we we saw each other, we you told me that you were talking to Becca and you were going to be asked to be on on stage for this uh, whole experience so kind of I guess tell us what that was all about so I was talking to Sydney and Thomas on Instagram um, I just messaged them and I just said hey I'm coming to the show I'm so excited and Sydney was like oh you should be a part of the show and I said well I'm married so I don't know how that would work out and she was like well it's totally fine like the show is just for it's fun <laughs> yeah she was like it's not serious at all and you'd be perfect for it so then I texted my friend Justin Justin takes the bat she yes him. I'm a huge fan of him I love him and he went to the show in New York City last week oh wow so I was like hey like how was it would it be fine if I did it and he was like oh yeah it was like super silly not serious so then I felt comfortable like okay so then I talked to Brian and he was like go for it and then Thomas responded as well and said the same thing he said oh my gosh you have to come on stage and they both told me to just come an hour early for the casting and that they would tell the casting lady about me so worked out great. Oh, that's amazing. Get it on stage. Uh, well, first of all, like, uh, well, l tell me a little bit. So are you, you know, tell our listeners again, like kind of what you do online and, and how you have these, the you, you know, these relationships with Bachelor Nation people. So I started making videos three years ago now, which is crazy. So crazy. during round of applause, season. round of applause. <laughs> People just sticking with it, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's we just awesome. We love consistency here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've learned from you guys. <laughs> Come on. Um, but I do recap videos every episode of the show, every season, Paradise included. I dress up as all the characters, even the males. I put on facial hair. Um, so Thomas Brian supports this. That, Brian supports you dressing up, you know, as these males. And, you know, Brian, what is it like? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> She's borrowing your clothes and stuff. But I'll be honest, sometimes I get a little scared when I walk in the room and I see her with a mustache on or like a full beard and she wants to kiss me and I'm like, uh, I don't know if I really yeah. like that. You're really pushing like the limits with this, I feel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll forgive 
shirt that I have it on and I'll like go get a snack like in between filming oh my God, and I have ridiculous. a beard and I go in, I'm like, hey, babe, I'm going to kiss him. And he's like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. very attractive. Yeah, I don't know if I could do it, but um, that's great. That's great. Well, obviously, he supports you a lot with these type of uh, things, and yeah. and that's awesome because um, you know what we do is it's it's kind of a little silly. Like we talk weekly. Like it's a lot of work we put into these things we do about you know a franchise, a show that just people think it's could be stupid or just silly or whatever. But I think. You know, it's 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 a, a way of expressing ourselves. It's it's something that we're into, and who knows what these type of things lead to. And um, I think it's been pretty cool to watch you, uh, you know, be kind of injected into Bachelor Nation. You know, and and I'm sure like a lot of people that you imitate will follow you. Yeah, and and that's how I like they love you. Oh, totally. Great. Well, I mean, so when you're doing these videos, do you come at it from a, a place of positivity? Like you're not trying to be like like hateful or bullying right. or anything, um, you know, so you probably get a lot of good reactions from people that are actually on the show. Yeah, I definitely never try to cross the line with it being mean. So if there's any like serious topics on the show, I just stay away from them. I will only like reenact or recap the funny, ridiculous moments. Um, and just in a, like a parody way, you know, like, like it's Saturday night live way. So I'm not, yeah, I definitely never want to cross that line. And I've gotten messages from people um, that I've reenacted, like Christina Schulman a few years ago um, during Paradise, she actually reached out and said, thank you for doing what you do and always keeping it lighthearted and funny because I was in, trying to do her accent yeah. <laughs> and I was terrible at it, but I like... <laughs> But I didn't want it to be like offensive, you know, so it felt nice coming from her that she's she thought I was doing a good job at just keeping it goofy. Totally. It's like punching up instead of punching down. So, right. Um, yeah. you know, you had said that, you know, uh, uh, Brian was figuring out if he was going to come to the show or not. So when I sat down and I saw you, I was like, Kelly, we like sat like two rows behind you and stuff. And, and Brian was there. So I was like, no, don't worry. My FaceTime has been going off all day for no reason. Um, <laughs> yeah, but real. I was, you know, it was really cool to see you guys there. I obviously obviously knew Brian through, you know, seeing your pictures and your wedding and all that stuff. Congratulations and stuff again. Thank you. But, um, you know, uh, we'll talk about your, uh, the, the, the craziest thing you've done for love a little bit down the line here, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, it, it was, it was cool because, uh, your mom was there, your aunt was there, you had some friends there and we kind of had like a, like a little cheering section for you. Um, yeah, it was so sweet hearing you guys. I lost my voice, like literally. <laughs> I just getting wow. it back, and um, and the cool part about it was like you know there was um, what is it called when they have like the the intermission, and uh, that's when I was like, all right, well, I've been screaming for Kelly like two rows back from like her husband. He doesn't know who I am. And I just like I was <laughs> yeah, like I probably I, I probably Kelly. should introduce myself to make sure I'm not some crazy guy back here be like <laughs> screaming louder for his wife than he is probably. <laughs> So I was, I just was like tapped on him. I'm like, Hey, Brian. And he was like, Hey, I'm like, you know, I'm friends with Kelly. She's been on our podcast and stuff. And you were just really warm and welcoming. It was just, you know, I, you introduced me to uh, her mom and her aunt and, um, you know, it was just a fun time. Like I was there, you know, I was enjoying myself. It's really silly. Um, <clears throat> but you know, I want to kind of know, you know, what was your experience like at first? Like, were you, I mean, you're an actor, so you're kind of used to performing and, and being on, but I mean, this is a little different this is a live stage show you know are you are you used to performing on stage you look pretty comfortable (laughs) thank you I I did theater growing up so all through middle and high school and I I wasn't nervous I think honestly the fact that I am married and I knew it wasn't serious that I was just doing it to have a good time just took away my nerves and the the fact that like the theater was not at capacity yeah, <laughs> so yeah. like, okay. but it There's looked a lot more f- it looked a lot more full than on from stage actually than I felt like from our seats like I didn't even know like the whole top was like had people and stuff so when I saw this oh I didn't even notice that either yeah there's you know, look at your selfie that you got on stage there's like people okay. on the top row so it was actually a lot more full than I thought like yeah, yeah. I think they were they were trying to push everyone up I mean it's a lot of room to fill you know it's a yeah, huge yeah. theater yeah. it's a humongous theater so I mean so I, I think so some of the girls I think um, thought it was kind of serious 
you know, like, um, I loved all of them. Yeah, tell so me about, sweet. like, the at, like the feelings, like, backstage, like, everyone's, like, nervous, and you're just, People like... People are so nervous, yeah. yes. So they were, and again, just being a performer myself, I was just, like, ready to just perform, you know? And other girls, I think, were actually trying to date Rodney, because... <laughs> yes. Well, because the the producer lady, she was awesome. She was the same woman that did the casting. She didn't really tell us that it was not serious at all. Like, she didn't say, oh, you're going to go date Rodney for real. But she also didn't say that, if that makes sense. She didn't not say that, yeah. Yeah, she just kind of was like, just have fun, you know, be silly. So she did make sure we knew to be, like, super goofy. But she never made it clear that you weren't actually going to date Rodney. Yeah, yeah. But I knew that because Low I stakes for you. To, yeah. Yeah, I knew. Well, I the knew person I was with was like, you were wearing your ring, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like she was like noticing that the whole show. Like she was up there with a ring the whole time. I was watching to see like I was like, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because Rodney already put a ring on it. <laughs> yeah. He knew. And he knew. Yeah, I thought so the other girl before we went on, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm married, you know, I'm just doing this for fun. And I think some of them were like kind of like annoyed but the the lady did tell us too that like a grandma had won the final rose at a different city so i i think that that kind of helps people understand that it was all silly but one of the girls you know brought letters for rodney she says she had written him a letter every day for the past month to give him like the notebook yeah, yeah, so I was like, this girl thinks it's for real, right? <laughs> oh, man, that's 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 cringy that's a little good. bit. I feel, I'm getting like secondhand embarrassment for some reason, but shout out to that girl for, you know. It was so sweet, though. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Um, <laughs> right. But yeah, so, you know, they do the whole thing. I was actually trying to explain to my sister. She's like, so what is it? And I was like, you know, I didn't really know what I was going into because I feel like they've been working on what this live stage show is like over the last couple of years. COVID kind of like gave it a reset because, you know, it was hosted by Ben Higgins. I think they were actually like finding eligible bachelors in each yeah. city, you know, and making it kind of like that. But it's kind of it makes more sense to have Bachelor Nation people kind of like, you know, infused into it. And it makes it more of a, a draw for people to come out, um, right. especially for people like us that are fans of the show. But um, mm-hmm. so, yeah, they have like the mansion like up on the big screen and they have like the limo and, and Kelly comes out. And, um, you know, what is it like coming out of the limo? <laughs> I almost I'm super short and I almost bonked my head on it because it was just this tiny like set piece um yeah and then I I gave my intro spoke Spanish had to be unique you know yep yep um but like you said I wore my ring the whole time so I thought that like Rodney saw it and and maybe he did and I also wonder if they told him to keep me because they knew I would like give it my all each round yeah silly plus you had like the crowd interaction like go like you had a cheer section, you know what I'm saying? So thank you. Yeah. Um, but w- yeah, whenever you want to get to the next part about when <laughs> I actually did say I was married. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not even the next part. There's so much parts before that I got to get to. So many parts. There's so many parts. Cause I, well, this is the fun part about having you guys uh, on the show because I wanted to get my perspective of watching it. I wanted to get your perspective of being it. I wanted to get Brian's perspective of watching it. So, um, you know, Brian, I mean, obviously you're proud of your wife. She's up there having a good time and stuff. Like what is, what are the thoughts going through your head? You know? You're a fun sport about it. Yeah, like at first when she told me she was going to do it, I was a little nervous because I was like, I didn't really know what to expect. And then she kind of like, you know, calmed my nerves a little bit by saying it's really not a real thing. Like I'm just up there having fun. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, absolutely. Go ahead and do it. I know you're going to enjoy it. You know, obviously I support her and I'm so proud of her for all of her videos and how consistent she's made it. And she truly does love the show. And you know, I uh, had to go be there and support her. And it was actually, it wasn't surprising all the things that she did. And I told uh, her mom and I were sitting right next to each other. And I was like, yeah, I don't expect anything less from my wife. It's my dancing. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So you have some moves. Let's talk about those. Um, <laughs> what, well, what was the first challenge that like really like you had to kind of, they brought you away and then you brought you back. Like, what were they telling you backstage? It looked pretty choreographed. Like, you know. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, what? I mean. Not for me. The the two dancers, the professional dancers, Sydney and Blake, who are on tour, theirs was choreographed, but 
I just you 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 were a natural in there because like you were like oh, making your mark it out. She was making her marks on stage. She was in the center. She was like you know knew exactly <laughs> where to be, and I was I just, just very impressed. Um, I just the, felt it. the first I guess like group date or like the first date challenge or whatever. Which one was that? That was the that that was so, the Titanic one, right? Yes, for me there was one that I wasn't in because they were saving me for lip sync. Mm. So yeah, the first one I did was the lip sync challenge, and they paired us up. So it was two girls versus two other girls, and yeah, we did. My heart will go on first. Oh man, that was amazing! Great rendition. Um, you know, not Thank a you. not a dry eye in the building. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that was awesome to see. You're winning roses left and right. I was just so proud of you. And, um, oh, you, you know, the, dad moment over I know, there. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I felt like it, if it was nice to go there and actually have someone to cheer for, like, you know, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this is my sports. I don't really do sports. So like, you know, it was nice <laughs> to be losing my voice for some reason, but, um, but yeah. And then you had to do, it was like, uh, I wish I could play music right now, but you had milkshake, um, come on. And that's where your, your moves really came out. Um, yes, thank you. you had to do a pseudo <laughs> lap dance for, <laughs> I didn't for touch him, though. No, no, no. The no. other girl, she was she was getting after it though. Like oh. they they told us not to touch him and they were like, Don't touch him, don't kiss him. Obviously I wasn't gonna do that. But she went for a kiss on the cheek. And yeah. I was like, that's, that's a little spicy. Little I, I risky. wonder I, do you do you know why that they would say that? Is he just not wanting to be kissed? I or? mean, they didn't want the show to be inappropriate sure. and they didn't want they the didn't want the interview. show to be inappropriate. There was I one, know, right? <laughs> there was like one point <laughs> where they didn't doing... want it to be like crossing the line either. You know, if just some random woman is just trying or right. multiple women are trying to kiss him and he's not comfortable and right. he's not, you know, into them like that can get kind of gross, you know. Sure. But did we forget the franchise we're talking about here? Uh, I know. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, you do your thing. That was awesome. I saw you bust out a couple cartwheels or something. And I was just like, OK, she's bringing all yeah. the moves. Um, yeah. Thank God you were wearing a romper because you know some of those yes, girls yes. were in dresses and stuff you had more mobility you knew yes. what you were doing <laughs> i was prepared uh did you uh make friends with any of the other contestants up there she wasn't yeah there. yeah we became friends pretty quickly we followed each other on instagram oh so. that's awesome yeah. Um, so there was one, uh, like, as uh, we're talking about appropriateness of this all, but there was like uh, the, the wheel spinning of our romantic movies. And um, and what movie did that you land on? When, when Harry met Sally. Sally. Yeah. So um, if you guys are not familiar, there's just like a famous scene where like, you know, she does like her orgasm noises or something like that as a joke. And yeah. um, and you went for it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I I watched. I actually haven't seen the movie. And so after the show, I went back when we were coming home. I watched the scene and I was like, OK, I definitely did it very differently than the real movie scene. But uh, yeah, I, I went for it, but I didn't go for it too hard. I yeah. didn't want it to be too weird. I was know? like, OK, Brian. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but that was that was the fun part. So like it did, eventually it gets to. Um, I think you made it to hometowns where they have you guys like, you know, sitting on on different couches, kind of like in your own living room or something. And he asks you all a question and um, he asks, uh, what is the craziest thing you've done for love? And this is where like my jaw dropped. Like I wasn't expecting you to say this. I was like, she just broke the fourth wall. (laughs) She broke the fourth wall. and, And she was like, well. The craziest thing I've done for love is get married during COVID. First of all, it's not just like it's an ex-husband or something. Like I got married like years ago or something. She said COVID. So this is specifically within the last two years. And I was just like looking around like everyone's just like, <gasps> like they felt betrayed. They felt betrayed. I had to bring the bachelor drama, you know, there was no drama during the night. Oh man, that is true. Oh my God. I didn't even think about it from that ankle. Great job. Thank you. Um, you. So this is where Brian actually gets introduced into the show. (laughs) You know, Becca's all like, wait, is your husband here? He's like, yeah, Brian's over (laughs) there. (laughs) <laughs> There's a light. Literally, like a three fourths into the show, like your husband's been watching you go for Rodney and stuff, and um, and and this is funny because like then the rose ceremony comes, and um, and well, like wait, you you gotta say that 
So he got to choose someone to sit down with to ask more questions, and he sit, sat down with me to ask more questions about Brian. Yeah, yeah. What did he ask you? What was it that he Rodney's asked you? Rodney's, like, trying to find a bro. Rodney's, like, so, like... Right. <laughs> He, he was like, so, um, is Brian, is he a Bachelor fan? And I was like, no, but maybe he will be tonight. And then he asked me, um, who was my favorite on Michelle's season? And mm. I was like, Rodney, you were really my favorite. You could check my Twitter. I was rooting for you. Yeah, no, that was that was awesome. That's uh, good. I like how you're like, check the Twitter. You're like, I have the receipts. I literally said that. Yo, <laughs> what, that's kind of a full circle moment, though, for you there. Like, what does it feel like to be on stage, like, with, like, you know, people from the show that, you know, it's it's like kind of happening, you know? What is it like? Yeah, it was super fun. It's super cool to like, like you said, it's full circle. But also now that I am, I'm 28, I'm almost 29. I'm like, I'm older than a lot of the contestants now right. um, or about the same age. And so now it feels like, okay, I'm not as starstruck. Like if I were 19, I would have been flipping out. Totally. Right. But now I'm like, these people are just people, you know, it's super exciting. I'm definitely still like a fan and I get really excited. But I think the feeling's mutual too. They they must be fans of you as well here. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And they're in your own light. Um, but yeah, that was awesome because you did pick, like I was like, uh, is she just gonna like send her home now because like she has a husband? <laughs> I was like, it's over for Kelly. But no, it, it really wasn't because this is the funny part. Because I, I mean, Brian was hearing me scream for you like the whole time. But this is where I I was like, he was like, all right, it was down to two women or something, and and he's about to get the rose out, and I'm like, Kelly and Brian. Kelly and Bryant. <laughs> and I just see Brian over there like cracking up and stuff. But he ends up picking you, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I was very shocked at that moment. Oh, but there's a no way. he's Because he only could give out one rose yeah. out of us four. Yeah. And he chose me. Yeah, I was quite shocked. <laughs> so that's why I, wa I wonder if they told him to keep me. Oh, man. I think Brian's just that great. He was going to, you know, get <laughs> the two for one special. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I mean, that was awesome just to be up there, uh, you know, see you up there and, and be cheering for you and stuff. Um, you know, obviously, I was able to get some really fun videos of you, but I couldn't yeah, hold back my I couldn't hold back my excitement, obviously. Um, the giggles. It's the giggles for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting fans just from my laughs and screams for Kelly on her videos and stuff. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was a pretty cool experience. What'd you think of it like i mean it's 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 a live stage show i thought they brought like the best they could of the elements from the show to it would you what was your overall feelings of it i had a blast it was super silly i'm glad that they kept it lighthearted and that you're not actually trying to date the person um i like that they said like, in other cities they've had like i said a grandma come on and i'm sure that was hilarious <laughs> So yeah. and it was fun because, like, I always said before I met Brian, like, I'm going to be on the show. <laughs> and obviously right. that didn't happen. Um, but now, I, you know, I got a little slice of it and I got to perform on the Fox Theater stage. Oh, like, man. That is, that I is didn't a even one think in a million like... experience for sure. That's I know. Awesome. I've been going to shows there my whole life. So that's really cool. That's so dope. Um, well, Veronica, I was, unfortunately, she wasn't able to make it. I but, wasn't there. But what questions do you have, like, from what well, you saw? Well, I want to know. A big thing in Bachelor Nation uh, news happened while you guys were there. Tia got engaged. How did like what was that like being there for Tia getting engaged to her, you know, seemingly normal, I guess now fiance boyfriend situation, which I feel like she was just on Paradise last summer. So yeah. Yeah, love goes was, quick in Bachelor Nation. I was Nation. in the wings there. I was like 20 feet from it. So That's insane. Yeah. Did you I, see we it coming? Like, no, we none of us knew, and I actually didn't get to meet her, unfortunately, because we just didn't cross paths backstage. But uh, we were all like, oh, my God, what? What? Is this real? And then we saw Becca coming with a bouquet, so we're like, this is real. Yeah. Like, they're going out to congratulate her. So it was really neat to yeah, like, I, see it from literally behind the scenes. I was so excited about Kelly that I didn't even, like, get the footage of, of like, Tia. I was like, whatever, Tia, let's get back to Somebody Kelly. Somebody else from the show did because I think that's, like, the footage that's being passed around, like, all of the, like, news sites is literally, like, yeah. somebody similar seating to you, Cy, like, in the crowd being all like, Tia gets engaged. And I I'm messed like, oh up. God. See, that's why 
Veronica has to come to these things, you know? I did my best. I did my best. <laughs> She's a social media manager for our stuff, so I, I just, I, I don't handle it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was awesome. Veronica, you have more questions for Kelly? Um, I mean, I wanted to talk about your April Fool's prank that yeah. briefly, <laughs> that briefly got me. Um, I want to think, I want to ask you, like, you know, how did you think that up? And also, like, I think what really, what really got me when you did it is that other people were seemingly, like, in on the joke or at least, like, knew well enough to play along. Like, uh, I think it is, what's his fetch who does the, the videos that we both watch, Sai? Just, um, oh, uh, are you talking about which ones? Is his name Dave Neal or what is his oh, name? Oh, yeah, Dave, uh, Dave Neal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He like made a comment being all like, "Oh, we're the same week," or like whatever. Like yeah. I was like, "Is this real? Like, like how is this going on?" I just I was like, "Okay, I want to do something. I want to pull some sort of prank." And I remember last year or the year before, Dylan, um, what's his last name? Hannah Hannah G's fiance, Dylan Barber, I think. Yes, Dylan Barber. He he posted that he was going to be the new host, taking over Chris Harrison's spot, and I believed it for a split second when he posted that. So that kind of gave me the idea to do the par- say that I was going to be a guest host on Paradise, and I was like, okay, this could kind of be believable because they have they last season they had guest hosts every week. You know, right. it was like Lance Bass, so clearly a yeah. million levels <laughs> Same different. Same caliber, you Lance um, Bass. But I was like, okay, I'm going to make the caption seem believable and say I went through rounds of callbacks and that I'm so excited I can finally share this news. But I did put at the end of the post, I put hashtag, hashtag April, April Fools. Fools. Yeah. But barely anyone read that. So most people in the comments actually did believe it. People like Dave, just he could tell right away, like I was just messing with people. So he went along with it. But I got texts from like, some of my best friends and family members who believed it. Like, Kelly, oh my God, I <laughs> this is so amazing. And I was like, y'all, you need to read. And also, if this was true, I would have told you and not just posted it. Yeah, just posted it being like, you find out this way. Yeah, right. no, it's kind of the same thing. Like anytime I, I, cause I tag usually my pictures, like the future bachelor. Um, so anytime I'm in a, like a suit or a tux and I tag myself in that, people are like, are you going to be like the next bachelor? I'm like, no, I'm just like, have you, you guys not be seen- the future bachelor? I've been doing this for four <laughs> years. Come on. Like every time I put on a suit and have a rose, like I'm not. Just trying to fish. You should just wear suits more often. I know. I know. Well, I'm 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 trying to ask for a raise, but um, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, you know, I think it's it's really cool that you're so involved in it, and it just continues to evolve. Um, you know, you have all these cool relationships. Dave Neal is specifically one that's like kind of um taking over YouTube with Bachelor Nation news yeah, and stuff. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, he does really great coverage. And I like his attitude about it, too. You know, he's, yeah. he's more positive. I feel like he has a similar kind of thought process that, like, I have to approaching the show right. and all this stuff, especially with, like, things now coming out with, like, the whole that TikToker, like, accusing Clayton of, like, cheating on Susie. And, like, that's just it feels like a whole big thing to, like, boost her platform and everything. Like, I feel like he has a very interesting take on all of that kind yeah what of are your stuff. thoughts on on that like you know with tiktok you know you being an influencer on there and stuff as well like you know does this muddy the waters for bachelor nation content with people that are out here just like getting catfished by fake claytons and stuff fake claytons my thing is like really i know come on she yeah. like googled him I don't know. I that girl's hard to believe brian's probably like what the heck are you guys talking about but um <laughs> Yeah, I that girl, she, people did some diving, I think, into some old videos that she was talking about The Bachelor, and then now she claims, I don't even know what the show is. And yeah, like, I didn't know. Eh, yeah. You know, I think she just wanted followers, because you can tell that she is, like, very present on TikTok, gets a lot of views already. So this definitely put her out there even more so totally yeah um brian what was it like um you know the come down after the show you know where people were like congratulations on your wife you know going on a great date you know <laughs> well it's, it's actually kind of funny because i told kelly this one i was like super excited and proud that she made it all the way to the end and almost won yeah. but i knew the girl just watching the whole entire thing go on i knew the girl that he picked was going to be the one he won but it was so funny because 
my my best friend was there with me and his fiance and surprisingly he's a massive bachelor fan oh yeah and he was standing up when people be. were coming out he yeah, was like cheering exactly, them on and stuff exactly so i we were getting it we were getting quite a laugh just watching him like interact oh, like stand totally. up what, what was, was his name uh adam adam <laughs> air air for adam because he was probably the guy that was making me he was probably the guy oh. that was making me lose my voice because i was competing with him for screaming and stuff yeah so the funny thing i was gonna get to was uh so we're walking out up to like the main lobby area and this was like after everybody like the scandal of kelly's married and <laughs> the they, the scandal. her husband's in the 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 audience and so we were walking out with uh, adam rachel and i and uh, I overheard this guy talking with his friends of girls like, oh, I can't believe they put that girl that was married on stage. And then I walked and he looks at me. He's like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally like, how it goes, yeah, though. Like, now you no. guys now you guys are in the ether of the rumors, you know, the yeah, Bachelor exactly, Nation rumors. Exactly. So. So, well, no, but overall, I thought it was yeah. awesome. And I was super, super excited for her because she did awesome. Yeah, no, I, I really appreciate you guys coming on to talk about, you know, the experience from both angles, because I had a great time, you know, supporting you out there. And it was just nice, like, um, not only just to run into you, but to be able to watch you on stage. So um, thank you. Um, thanks for being my hype man and, oh, my, and photographer and videographer. Yeah, sure. Always. Though, yeah. You know, All we got to we got to stick together. We got to stick together. That's um, right. You know, we got to, you know, it's, it's just the way it is in this bachelor nation you know we got to support one another but um you know it's really nice to meet you brian and it was really nice to meet your family kelly and um i really do appreciate you guys you know coming on the show and sharing your experience so i, I don't want to keep you all too long we're like running late tonight to get this interview but i know you had a long day too kelly so um once Thanks again just of yeah, course so i'm gonna much. give you guys a round of applause and some air horns <laughs> brian's first yeah. podcast everyone i think he did great <laughs> so um, thank you guys again, and we'll definitely have to have you back again here soon. Good luck with For everything. For sure. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Well, that's our Bachelor stuff this week. Future Bachelor Podcast.